Today on the Technivers channel, we'll be diving into Kira 4.11 and showing you how to add your printer using the Add Printer dialog. Stay tuned. Welcome folks and to all you new users out there, welcome to the Technivers channel. I am Technivers. Today we're going to show you how to add your printer in Kira Slicer. So I'm using version 4.11, although it's pretty much the same for each version, although older versions do have less machine definitions. So uh, when you jump into Kira for the first time, you're going to be shown this what's new screen. and It's basically going to go over all the new stuff in this version of Kira. I have a video specifically dedicated to showing you what's new in this version, so we're going to go ahead and skip that. However, when you close it, you're going to be presented with a screen that looks something like this one right here. Um, this is the Add Printer screen. There is most likely a buffer screen before this where you have to select Add Printer. Just go ahead and click on it, uh, and then you'll be provided this menu here. And what you want to do is add a non-networked printer. So you can hook your printer in and then refresh it and hopefully it'll find everything for you if you don't have your printer plugged in as I usually don't have most of mine plugged in you're gonna go to add non networked printer now in here there are a ton of definitions now of course it lists Ultimaker's definitions first because Ultimaker makes Kira after that they go in alphabetical order so there are a few custom definitions in here for smoothie printing um, just go ahead and skip those in most cases you're going to go ahead and scroll down here, find your manufacturer on the list here. I'm going to be doing a Creality machine, so we'll go in there. And let's do the Ender 3 Pro, okay? Um, I have this printer, so I'm setting up for this printer. If you have another printer that is on this list, select that one. All of the settings will be dialed in already. So find your manufacturer, find your model, and select it, and then click Add. Before you click Add, if you want to name your printer something else, go ahead and do that here. You can also change that later, uh, but it's a little bit quicker to do now. Uh, if your printer is not on this list, there are several options you can add, uh, but I would definitely recommend just using this Creality Ender 3 profile as a base, okay? And in doing that, you're going to get good prints. I use this with most of my printers, uh, pretty much every printer that doesn't show up in this list. I select the Creality Ender 3 and I have pretty good luck. So I'm going to click Add now. And it is going to take a minute. It's going to add a new printer and it's going to bump me over to that new printer. And then it is showing, see, it says number two here. Um, it is showing the printer settings. Now, if you're not using an Ender 2 and you're just stealing the profile, you're going to want to go and look up the specs for that printer online. And in those specs, you'll find the dimensions. So this is where you want to put the width the depth and the height okay there is also a checkbox here that often gets checked and people get confused and they want the origin to be at center so they click this box when you click this box it doesn't print in the center of the build plate it prints in the front left corner so make sure you leave that unchecked unless you mean to do that on purpose um, the start G code and NG code work pretty well for most machines uh, and I tend to just leave it and I haven't had to come back and change any of them yet. I like this purge line that runs and the resetting the extruder and it works pretty well. So once you have your dimensions entered in, it's pretty much all you need to change on this part uh, unless you have a different size nozzle. Um, so we're just gonna go ahead and roll here and hit next. And we are ready to go. So now we have our Ender 3 Pro number two selected. Okay, uh, we can bring in a model, slice it, and do what we want with it. Here, I'm going to go to machine settings, and this basically brings you back to, to the same menu here. So if you need to add an extra extruder, it is in here. Uh, depending on your printer, you may also need to adjust these values, but in most cases, it works really, really well. In fact, I shouldn't say most cases. I haven't run into a printer that doesn't work with my Ender 3 Pro profile so uh, that is my generic profile it works for pretty much everything if however I, like I said if your machine is in that list definitely use your machine definition it will be a little bit better dialed in uh, but that's basically it super simple setup you are now ready to drag in or open a model and go ahead and start your printing so uh, if you're curious about how to bring in a model how to navigate around how to manipulate the screen how to move the objects 
and your basic slicer settings. Stay tuned. I have a video premiering tomorrow at 9 o'clock that will tell you exactly how to do just that. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can get notified when that video comes out as well. Also, I do a playlist called Kira Settings in 5 Minutes or Less, which breaks down each of these settings into its own 5 minute video and you can kind of see what they do, how they affect the model, how they affect print time and things like that. Uh, so I'll put a card up for that playlist as well as I also have another playlist uh, that is dedicated to answering your Kira questions. So if you have any questions about Kira, leave them in the comments and I will try to make you a video responding to the question. I'll put that playlist up here as well. There are several good questions we've answered already and I'm always looking for more content. So. Feel free to drop me a line in the comments and ask your question, and we will see you in the next one, guys. Tech never is out. Stick around, guys. I got another YouTube recommended video for you right here, and if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Make sure that you smash that like button. We'll see you in the next one. Tech never is out.